Hey, it's Dr. Von Thrawn here. Uh, I work with Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute at their Beaches Division. I'm here to talk to you about shoulders and specifically uh, about the rotator cuff. We see a lot of rotator cuff injuries in athletes. Um, the rotator cuff is, is the series of tendons that attach to the top of your shoulder and help move your arm around. It particularly affects people who are overhead athletes such as pitchers, tennis players, volleyball players. Rotator cuff injuries are also very common as we get older, and in uh, the older population, it tends to occur over time. It's kind of a wear and tear thing. Uh, maybe they were an athlete when they were younger and had some shoulder issues, and then as they get older, it just gets a little worse, and eventually it'll just thin out, the tendon will thin out and then tear completely and can cause a, a lot of persistent pain that then requires either therapy or possibly even surgery. Once you do get a rotator cuff injury, uh, the most common forms of treatment are to start out with some physical therapy for strengthening to kind of compensate for the tear and allow it to try to heal on its own. If it's a complete tear, it may not heal and then ultimately you may require some surgery uh, to repair the rotator cuff and attach it back to the bone. And then it requires some therapy after that. Uh, Rotator cuff surgery is usually a very successful surgery. It can take a while to recover from it, up to six months, uh, but people do very well after rotator cuff repairs.